go. I need your clothes, your boots, and your Super Nintendo. Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry. Can't resist an opportunity to showcase my stellar Arnold impression. Get down, it's T2 of the arcade game. All right, so tying in with the massively successful and totally awesome action movie, Terminator 2 Judgment Day, the arcade game interpretation is an on-rail shooter which was released to arcades by Midway in 1991. Oh man, I can vividly remember when this came out and was pretty blown away by the cabinet with its two giant machine guns and really intense digitized graphics which were actually pretty realistic for the time. And they even included some likenesses of some of the actors like Robert Patrick and Eddie Furlong and of course, Arnold. Excellent. And the arcade game was successful enough to warrant a slew of ports to consoles, including the Genesis, Sega Master System, the Game Gear, the Game Boy, PC, and the Super Nintendo version that you're seeing here. I can't really speak for the 8-bit ports, but the 16-bit versions match up fairly well, although I will mention the Genesis couldn't really handle the graphical scaling effects as well, and so there was a lot of redrawn sprites in that version. Also, across the board, the game's name was changed to T2 the Arcade Game to avoid getting mixed up with all the other Terminator 2 games that were released. And uh, yeah, that was definitely a smart move. Those are some games you don't want to get mixed up in. So here, you control the Terminator from a first-person perspective, and you basically gun your way through various scenarios loosely based on the movie, as the screen slowly scrolls horizontally. In the arcade version, if you had enough quarters, you could buy your way to an attack on Cyberdyne systems and showdown with a T-1000, but these home ports have limited continues and will prove to be highly challenging. Well, without cheating, that is. Keep this on the down low, but uh... Just press the R button, you'll get nine more credits. Otherwise, you do have an energy bar that will slowly drain while enemies are firing at you, and your machine gun also loses its rapid fire function after a while, but that can be restored by power-ups. You've also got rockets that are useful for taking out larger vehicles and bosses, and don't forget to avoid human casualties, I guess. Stupid John Connor reprogramming me. Oh well, anyways, the gameplay is pretty standard on-rails shooter stuff, although in particular there is more of an emphasis on prioritizing targets that are shooting at you rather than quick reflexes and accuracy, as there's almost always something on screen that needs to be shot, and it's a pretty rare moment when you're not blasting away hordes of T-800s. So I guess T2 the arcade game can get pretty repetitive, but there's enough carnage to keep fans of old school light gun shooters pretty happy. The Super NES version does support the Super Scope or the mouse, and the Genesis has Menacer support. So if you're well equipped, those will make this game way more fun than using the old D-pad to move around the crosshairs. And despite a lack of gameplay depth, it's still a good mindless action game that ranks as one of the better Terminator-based games for sure, although that's not really saying much. And big thanks to Paul in California for the donation. Crom smiles upon you this day. Oh wait, wrong movie. Man, when are they gonna come out with Conan the Barbarian the arcade game?